All right, welcome back. Game one goes to Mostly Harmless. I, they did go up big at the start, but I think there's something to be said for casuals not getting blown out there, getting a few on the board, getting some momentum in, in a series that's far from over. Uh, Amit, I'll come to you first. We're back here on the Red Bull analyst desk. What did you see that maybe casuals could do different going into the second game? Uh, well, the on attacker's side, they use Jet to take a lot of their space uh, to get those entries. I understand that it's how Jet should be played, but when she dashes in, it's very hard for the other attackers to, to keep up and get those trades in. So on the mostly harmless side, they used Raze to really create that space using her boom bots, using her nades. And on attacking side, that's what can really make the difference of, you know, being able to get around, be, being able to get a pick, uh, and just getting those, those, those trades, right? Having very close spacing. Um, I think that was, uh, that was definitely the, the difference there. Right. <clears throat> um, so map two, we're looking at Ascent. We're going to welcome Wilby now to the Red Bull Analyst desk as well. Wilby, what can you expect for map two here with Ascent? I mean, a sense a lot different than split, right? Split, you have a lot of these tight corners. A lot, you know, it, it's it's it is a, a difficult kind of you know really precise map. And and ascent, you have a little bit more you know a little bit more room to move around. Uh, out of ascent, uh, I, I'm a firm believer you need mid mid control kind of all the time. Uh, I think having at least some sort of cat mid eye or knowing up if they're at market that's really going to be key um, because then you can kind of split off to whatever map you want to go to, which gives you a little more flexibility. Uh, the only thing you don't want to do though, is get caught out because on ascent you have players like sky or agents like sky who really can, you know, make it uh, difficult to get out on those big open spaces. For sure. All right. Well, I think we're going to take a look at a no frills highlight. Now, one of the key players for mostly harmless, especially in that first half was, was streets. He was just on fire for a bit there, and and probably the strongest player in that game. We got a highlight of him. Yoga, take it away from what you saw in this one. So it's a one v three situation. Uh, they should they have the spike is up in heaven still. Uh, streets has great positioning. Um, the thing that happens right away is the raise goes up by themselves. Uh, I don't really like that play that much because you kind of want to be able to take them. As a team, it's a 3v1. You want to have crossfire. But the way they kind of give Streets three 1v1s, and Streets is just able to take advantage and make big shots. I mean, Streets, all defending half, he was playing unbelievable. He was locking down A main, felt like the entire half. Um, but the dash up there, it just, I feel like casuals, they just didn't play that um, that round that well in the end. They played really well to get onto the site, but once the spikes lost up there, I think they could have done a lot better repositioning to get Streets in that position. Um, but Streets obviously played amazing, played that round really well. But that's a pivotal round. If you win that, it's a 5v5. Anything can happen. I think that could have been a confidence deflator as well, too, for casuals. But I don't know. Uh, Streets, I mean, what can you say about him? Like, battle sage that half. Unbelievable stuff. And Wilby, we talked a little bit. You've seen mostly harmless play a lot of games now. We talked about their experience before. Is that what we saw come through in game one? I definitely think so. Uh, and and uh, it's the synergy that you have between the players. I think, uh, Amy, when you said that utilizing Jet is kind of difficult to go and entry into, into a site and that mostly harmless utilized Rays a lot better, I feel like it's because they have that synergy. They know that they can play around on Glyne and play around uh, effectively a, an agent that is going to damage you if you're going to try to go in an entry, right? So you have to be really cognizant of your, your teammates, and uh, we saw that quite, quite a bit. So I, I think it's that synergy that's really kept them always a little bit more ahead. I feel like there's always so fluid in, in their team comp and you know just overall map control they do really well with. Well, we'll see if that experience continues here. Like I said before, casuals did have a strong end to the game to not get blown out. We'll see if any of that momentum carries on. We won't take up any more time. We'll get right into game two. Back to Wes and Jake on the call. All right. Thanks, Dom. Welcome back, everybody, to the caster desk right here. Uh, thanks, Red Bull Analyst.
So again, love seeing those replays on screen. That's just so cool. Uh, and also, you know, we'll be watch out for those mass reports because uh, on a beach during COVID times will be shame on you. Anyway, uh, we are going into ascent here and it's going to be casual starting on the defender side this time, Jake. Uh, and yeah, we can see the agent picks coming in already. Um, I would love to see an Astra again. And yeah, there we go. Dizzy does go for it again, but we heard Dizzy talking about potentially looking for that Viper. Looks like, uh, looks like that, you know, Dizzy's gone over fully to the Astra instead. Yeah, I'm not too surprised. I think especially playing with cubed, uh, it looks like Killjoy is the, the comfortable pick for him. And that makes sense, you know, especially coming from CSGO, uh, not too much to worry about there. You know, you just put down your utility and once it's down, you know, you don't have to do anything too fancy except click on it to get it to go. <laughs> um, so it's it's nice and it's nice, uh, nice and simple. Uh, let's yeah. him lock down sights. Uh, on the flip side, you know, we got the we got the omen coming in. Ra's been a big proponent proponent of the omen all season but the important one for me is uh ryan's phoenix i think uh, ryan's phoenix has always been uh really top tier uh makes a big difference he's always getting like big impact big impact frags uh and big run it backs you know such a such an impactful uh ultimate in its own right absolutely true so yeah it looks like cubed is back on the killjoy obviously a very very good agent on uh ascent but you know not surprising either I, like if it makes sense that mostly harmless would just be like all right cubed we know you don't play a lot of valorant here's all the killjoy lineups uh just put your stuff down and let us let us take it from here so i like that uh, you know they're they've kind of got a plan for bringing in this less experienced player here and worked out for them just fine in map one with streets picking up the mantle there let's see if map two is going to be the same story or if casuals can bring it in ascent do see them as a reminder on the defending side. This time to start off and on Glenn and Ian. Deadly duo here. They get flashed out, actually. That's a great peek from the two duelists of casuals who then decide to back off here. Just get a little damage. On Glenn down to 40. And, yep. uh, yeah, you know, just uh, probably, probably advantage casuals there. The same same shenanigans they were running uh, last map on their attack. Very, very slow. Just looking for the slightest edge or provocation, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, Not spotting anything, sort of... but they are taking deep mid control, which is very important. About to pop this uh, tripwire and probably explode onto the site or deeper even spawn. Going very quickly. Swash spots them all. And yeah, all five of them are heading into that mid area really covered that well, but N1 peeks out with a nice shot. N1 with oh. two. Oh my god, N1 finds three out of absolutely nowhere, and D-Boy goes down. Finally, it's Dizzy remaining only on site. He's got the spike, but he knows he doesn't have time to plant. And he gets one, actually. Oh man, I did not expect him to even get that one right through the line, but incredible from N1 there on the ghost, just popping heads from spawn. Yeah, that third kill was a thing of beauty. Uh, I'm not sure he even really knew where that uh, player was, just, just swiveling over with a uh, very nice shutdown. Although I liked what I liked what the uh, attacking side did there, mm -hmm. taking control of market and pushing onto site. Once they have more utility, more guns, uh, they'll probably be able to block off the CT spawn better. Uh, so I will expect them to do something similar again in the future. Yeah. A possibility there, and like you say, the attack is kind of a nice idea. Last going up, Swash. Oh, oh my wow. god, Ryan comes out with three, baby! And casuals are back. They are here to play, and they are taking names right now. Ra coming up for the final frag, <laughs> and that's the flawless from casuals making a statement in round two. Yep, that's the power of Phoenix, especially on the A main push. Uh, like, the, it can it can be scary what Phoenix can do with his utility, holding down uh, that tight corridor, you know? Um, and that time he had support as they pushed up, uh, found the perfect timing on the flash over the wall. Very nice. Uh, yeah, and, and it, obviously that's against an eco, so fair enough. You yep, know, don't, yep. don't need to get too hyped. It's not too crazy, but still great individual play there by Ryan. Now they are up against the guns, though, on the full SMG bonus. So let's see how they deal with it. Wanting to play those close corners to avoid the rifles. Uh, but it's going to be tough to do that for the entire round. Got an idea 
the other flank here. Swash oh finding the first one. Swass with a right click. Oh my goodness, amazing work there from Swass. Get aggressive into tiles. Now Dizzy and Streets entering back a little bit. Three versus two. Ryan finds the kill. And if this bonus round is going to casuals as well. They are pulling out the stops right now. And three players remain. They recover rifles. Casuals are on a roll. Yeah, that was a sick round. Uh, yet again, catching off um, mostly harmless with their with their aggression, and I think that makes perfect sense because uh, with how with how slow we've seen the attacks from mostly harmless, like if you just take away their space early in the round um, before they're prepared for something, yeah, it seems like you're able to catch them off guard. Uh, and that's two rounds in a row that they were caught off guard. So will they be prepared for it this time? I think so. Looks like they would be, have been prepared. This time Ra runs into the star, has to back off from the gravity well. Ryan found a kill though. I'm not even sure where that happened, but it's fine. Yeah, he's in mid. He's running, he's running back. So he goes up. Great flash. Ryan taking matters into his wow. own hands. Ra spins around with a great headshot. Maybe a little bit lucky, but who cares? Ra gets another one as well. Ian going out, and that's the last one. Mad casuals just come back with a fury into ascent. Yeah, you know, they were starting to look more warmed up towards the end of Split, and they just continued on their roll here. Um, and that's great. You do not want to let um, online start to pop off here. We don't. You don't want to let Ian uh, start to really feel himself. You know, especially this map. I think uh, more than last is is going to be real dangerous when the off comes out for Ian. Um, and they could do it now. Streets has yep. the 5K, but. I think that's exactly what they're sort of considering, and they do decide against it. Instead, Ian just going for the frenzy so he can buy it next round. And he's going to use means... his knives. Yeah, they, yeah, he's got the uh, knives as well. I somehow I always forget about that, Jake. I don't know why, but uh, it's a it's a got... nice economic boon yeah. for Jet. Yeah, so that's exactly why you see Jet is an offer so often. B boy, aggressive here. Swass, oh man, streets like you said, on off guard when the oh, come no. in, but you can on glide. Find some kills. Trade's coming back, and it's still casuals in the advantage three versus two, but uh, some control has been gained by mostly harmless. They are out in the middle of the mid position. They are going to have to clear out this uh, tripwire, and they do, but are spotted. And one knows there's a possibility of one coming through, but actually they are heading for the spawn line. Oh my god! Swast just gets completely caught out by that push. No coverage in mid means they did not hear the footsteps, and A is wide open. Two versus two, door closed on Glyne on very low HP, but the spike is planted, and now a two versus two retake. Yeah, that was extremely unexpected, I think, for N1. He heard the footsteps in market and was sure they were going to push him, but they just ran straight through onto A. Uh, and I think that speed is what caught out um, the uh, defending jet. Yeah, exactly. That decisiveness. Great work there from them. Both here with the crossfire on the other side. B-Boy oh, expands the HP, but there's Dizzy finishing it off. Dizzy has almost all the kills for Mostly Harmless in this entire map so far. And he just keeps them rolling, baby. Seven frags for Dizzy. And he is at the top of the scoreboard right now. A great 2K there to finish off that round and put Mostly Harmless on the board. Yeah, Dizzy even got fully nailed by the shock dart. I was sure he was going to ta get taken yeah. out there, uh, but what a spray transfer to get both heads right there. Impressive from Dizzy. Somebody's got to step up. Dizzy and Streets, both players who are not accustomed to seeing at the top of the scoreboard, but so far, those are the two players who are bringing it in this series for Mostly Harmless. Still, Casuals have a great uh, setup here for the advantage on Ascent. 4-1 to one is the score. And the uh, key thing here, of course, is that Ian's able to pick up that op now. So that's going to be the question of... Actually, no, he didn't pick up the op. He bought a rifle instead. So Ian not going for the op on the attacking side. And that means they're going to be playing a little bit closer. Getting control of mid. Fully relinquished uh, up to the arch by casuals. Street's getting a lot of info. Yeah, good drone there. Knows how much is clear, taking out some Cypher utility. Actually, the Astral Ultimate comes out, that covers, look how much of the map it covers any of those spawn peaks. And they're gonna use it, head over towards the B site. 
Fiend already overwhelms B-Boy and N1 gets traded as well. There's a player in back sight though and they wouldn't have expected that. They try to take down Ra here with three. If he even gets one, it would be great, but they, he does not get more than one. So three versus two post-plant situation. And yeah, you know, Swass holding onto that uh, Vandal. Does he even want to go for it? It's actually Ryan with the off. And he switched out there, so. They are looking for this one. Two rifles, the two duelists coming in, avoiding the vision. Ryan just ran in by himself, though. Swash went out the around the other side. He had the opportunity, but split his focus. Goes around on 10 HP. Looks like Swash is just gonna have to back off of this one. Try to get the save. Pick up, pick up the off. And uh, try to survive with it is the only thing you want to do here. Will he catch a player? No, they're going to the other side, so that's going to be mostly harmless getting a second round, and Swass holding on to the off. Yeah, Ra was uh, holding down the site quite well from you know, all the way deep in the back, but I would say if they wanted to win that round, he needed one more, like you were saying. Uh, the the 3v2 just was not winnable to push out all the attackers off, off of the site and defuse the plant. Uh, defuse the bomb at the same time just not really feasible uh swass did good to survive with the op because on defender side the op is so important uh in my yep. mind yep, and, especially on ascent exactly yeah yeah and they're going to run right into it right now uh so this is important well, comes up and on glide wins the duel that's swass going down and the op is lost Ryan doesn't even want to recover it there, so just backs off with that one. Orb being taken. Ongline has the showstopper available. Will it have more impact? To, because like you said, it was, more, it was more signaling the death of the user than the death <laughs> yep. of the targets over on split. So uh, we'll see if it's a little different over on Ascent here. Ryan is the only player on A site right now. Mostly Harmless have a good opportunity here, though they don't know it just yet. They're going to advance. You can see that uh, the Sova on casuals has pushed up pretty far into B main, but isn't getting a lot out of that. Street's now going to drone in, spots one at heaven. There's the ultimate coming out on Glyne, just keeping them out of sight. Sort of like a lockdown right now, and on Glyne misses this satchel, and he's just going to have to fire blindly. That's not hitting anybody. There's the Hunter's Fury, and it does deny the plant. And so casuals are in on this retake. Plant now goes down. For that heaven position on glide does find it ryan who gets taken down another player b-boy looking for more Ra on glide still threatening him as well here's cube with the puke P peak cube doesn't quite get the spray on glide takes out b-boy in the end and streets as well with the hunter's fury and then one through the wall so there's on glide and the flawless round honestly it looks pretty close casuals did a nice job setting up the retake but they just could not win the duels when they approached him yeah, uh, I mean, that was Ongline winning <laughs> every duel he yeah. got into, um, as he is wont to do. The man is just a beast, uh, and it's not a good sign for casuals, the fact that he got four of his five kills in the last round. You know, if he if he's able to do that consistently, one would argue it's pretty much impossible to win. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and we saw it last game, you know. It, it, it... We saw it at the beginning of this game that Onglan was looking pretty quiet and casuals pounced yep. on that and were able to get a bunch of rounds out of it. But if Onglan and Ian start popping off, you know, it, it becomes a much different game. Uh, so that is what you've got to be scared of as a casuals fan, of which there are many in the chat, by the way. Shout out to the casuals fandom, the casuals army coming in here and supporting the boys. Really, really love to see it. A couple of mostly harmless fans. Peeking in as well, supporting the boys as well. So it's uh, it's good stuff in Twitch chat right now. I love it, and I love all of you. Online, not going to show any love to N1 in the corner, who oh Ooh. just escapes from the paint shells there. But Dizzy did find a kill on the B-Boy in the meantime. Ooh. N1, nice timing there. Finds him right, he gets the smoke, and there's Raw coming out. Raw actually looking for more kills. Cubed has to reset the spray, but does get the kill on to Raw. So Mostly Harmless still in the advantage. Three versus two. Ryan, great off angle there to find that. And now B is the target. And once again, it's the two duelist casuals who will wait until this spike is planted and then they will move. Yeah, this should indicate to them 
where the bomb is going, no question about that. But yeah, now their approach onto site be because of this killjoy is really hampered. I really like the placement of that. Um, not something yeah. you see that often, but uh, instead of holding it, you know, just to defend the site, he allowed them to get on there easier. But as they approach here, they've got so many angles to clear, yeah. um, not knowing well, both players are hiding back site. Well, and that's exactly it, right? That lockdown, I like when you said that because it totally buys time. Squash, though, he doesn't need that any more time than he's already got. Dizzy with one. Can he get the miracle again? He does! The clutch from Dizzy, and this guy is going off right now. He's making the enemies dizzy with the spinorama, and that's another 2K in the final seconds of the round. Dizzy is on 10 frags in eight rounds. Yep, Dizzy is the minister of clutch on this map. Like, uh, and, and you know, Dizzy's been fragging so well ever since switching to Astra. Uh, yeah. Dizzy's a player who I believe, I know he used to play Jet, or at least he, he does play, play Jet. Yeah, also used to play, for mostly Harmos, he often used to play Sage, though. Yeah, uh, very good Sage player. Just, I mean, but just in general, it's hard to frag on Astra. Not a, play, not a, a character designed to help you frag. Just comfortable on it, and there we go, finding another one with online matching up streets, getting the aggression, and yeah, casuals just sort of trying to find some lucky peaks here. Not gonna find any on this occasion. Still a nice close match here, but looks like mostly harmless. It's just like, well, casuals last time who ended up kind of finding the answer near the end of the half. That's exactly what's happening with. Mostly harmless this time. Ian is never missing that. Not in a million years will Ian be missing that shot. So N1 goes down. And uh, in this round, casuals <laughs> on just kind of peaked one by one. And B-Boy obviously has a choice, but to be one by one. And there we go. Streets flicks around, grabs a headshot through the wall. Flawless round for mostly harmless. Yeah, and casuals were playing that uh, on a mostly eco round uh they still had money to buy this round but they did have armor and sheriff which is a dangerous combo any day but uh li like you said they really did uh just try to take individual duels that round and they did not win any of them so not a recipe for success yep not too much to criticize about it either it's just the way no. it kind of goes yeah. on an eco round so was looking to reset. Remember how they got a good kind of string of rounds after they took a timeout last map? I think that that could be, you know, in a few rounds, maybe that could be a consideration on Ascent as well. They've got two per map. Why not use them, right? Here's the runner back. Ian is spotted out, and Ryan's coming out. All of uh, mostly armless are there. The entire goon squad, the entire firing squad is just faced right up against B main. And that's Ooh. going to deny that. Run it back. Good info gained there by Ryan, though. And there's a there's yeah. the dink actually that goes on to swap. And one of the adaptations we've seen from mostly harmless is they were already playing passively, but now they're playing even more passively, waiting for the aggression, um, like waiting deeper back, holding angles, and it worked perfectly. They weren't caught out by the Phoenix ultimate this round. Moved opening up this time, going first. There's the Astra ultimate, same as last time, but B-Boy already finds a shock dart kill. Looks for the head, ooh, Streets gets the better of him there. Very tough angle. Dizzy as well finds a kill. He's totally blind, but can escape and get the plant down as well. So a two versus four situation. It was the buy, like you said, from casuals. Wow, that's a great play by Streets to find the vision there. Ian. Chips no. in the night, Swass. Ian with a very difficult flick and ends up missing it there. Swass recovering the top, and actually that's very good value considering the position he was in. If he manages to recover this op and get away, and it looks like he will do just that. Oh my god, this arrow chasing him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he Is sees that gonna... it in the sky. <laughs> if that was a uh, if that was a shock dart, it would have been <laughs> even scarier. Yeah, but... yeah. Yeah, uh -oh. Swass has got an angle on this, but Streets the closer you get here. to the AWP. Low HP, and there we go. Like you said, the closer you get, and Streets was close enough, recovers that one, so they almost get everything they want out of that round. We got 6-4. to four. We were in this position last time as well, last map. Casuals need to find a second wind here. I like putting Ryan on the Phoenix. It's worked before against, specifically against Mostly Harmless. 
Will it work again in this Casuals. map? Ryan is at the top of the board, but... Casuals will have enough for a scrappy buy here. They don't have everything they could dream of. Uh, not even everything they want, but they have enough to buy. Ian revealed at tiles. Swass comes out and just misses a very, very unfortunate again. There's Ian getting the better of him. And yeah, this is the passive setup working out once again for uh, mostly harmless. Uh, Casual is getting a little antsy, maybe, because of a couple of rounds lost in a row. And peeking out alone sometimes. Like you said, they have scraped together a buy, but they're going to be pretty screwed in terms of finances next round. As they approach the A site. Smoke's going to delay, and uh, yeah, it does seem like Casuals have somewhat of a read on this, but how will they approach? Oh. Showstopper coming in, and Ryan oh, takes him down, but is traded. Longline does manage to pull the trigger there. Cube trying to close the door. It's broken. Can't do it. Plant goes down. Four versus three. Hold the post plant here. How do they choose to do it? B-Boy. You can hear the Guardian. Fired off. B-Boy sees the... Oh, no. He sees the fingers of Streets. He sees the gun, but he doesn't manage to get the kills. And oh, and one with the tragic situation there as well. Finally, Ra finishes it off. Ra is full Ooh. HP there. And actually, N1 gets a kill for free. He's coming around. Ra tries to find the headshot, but just doesn't flick over to Cubed in time. It's going to be 7-4 to four for Mostly Harmless. And it's the last round of the half. And yeah, casuals are on stems and seeds, man. Yeah, Ra was finding a nice timing, has been finding nice timings, but it's really just not enough uh, to get the get all the way, um, which is which is really unfortunate because Ra's such a great player. He's uh, just not really getting a chance to show off his crispy aim that he has. Sure. Yeah, and you know it's a very very tough spot. Ra almost had it, but. Even then, it would have been a tough situation. So, yeah, Mostly Harmless looking very, very strong here. They've done a lot of preparation. Aimant mentioned it on the desk that, you know, Mostly Harmless and Casuals have both been preparing for each other all season long, and they definitely had time to prepare for these grand finals. We had a nice break in between our end of our semis and these. So, Mostly Harmless are... Very, very dangerous in this kind of situation when they get the time to prepare, when they get the time to you know, absolutely use their instincts and experience. They're grouped up uh, following the drone here, going to get the information that there's no one close by. Oh no. That's a missed shock dart. B Boy has to get out of position what? and actually somehow finds a kill. Unreal from, Q from B Boy there but does get traded, so it's a four versus four retake. Ian with the op holding from backside. Ryan in a great position here. He's actually, oh, he's going to run into the utility. They're gonna know to turn around, but do they do it? No, Streets doesn't turn around in time. Instead gets the kill out front, so now it's a three versus three. Ryan coming in with the Phantom, walls it off. They can get anywhere they need to, and the reveal as well from the Neural Theft, so Ryan corner all over the place are casuals right now and there's ryan with more Ooh. dashes through for swas swas gets the kill amazing retake actually from casuals there and the neural theft helped him out a lot but ryan making the most out of Phoenix there oh yeah ryan oh he's so good like i said uh and he's lucky that he after he gets spotted by the utility sova in b main just had too much to deal with i think like even if he was aware on some level <laughs> that yep. that he heard that coming um yeah just didn't have uh, the ability to either react in time or yeah. discern from you know probably had other players running across his screen as well so uh going on to this um onto this round it, this is the first round of the second half. Very important, as always. And you know who we've seen uh, just dominate pistol rounds has uh, been mostly harmless, honestly. Ian is just yep. so good with, with the uh, ghost. It's scary. Ian is a monster with any weapon that requires precise aim. And the ghost, no exception there. Swass actually takes a good amount of damage from the paint shells. 
Just to back off of that one way that is placed for Astra. Casual is now on the attack. Reminder, mostly harmless are up 1-0, having won split previously in the series. If you're just joining us, the grand finals of the Canadian Esports Championship Series for Valorant, mostly harmless versus casuals. Rivals all through the season, and they come back to the grand finals in a fitting showdown for dominance in the CECS. And right now, mostly harmless have the advantage, and like you said, their pistol rounds have been deadly. It looks like they're trying to lay a fake uh, onto the B site. They've just thrown one smoke into market, but it's not convincing anybody. Mm. They have a nice little killjoy set up, actually, to tell them if anyone peeks main, probably why they knew it was a fake. Yeah, like you said, steal on oh, Swass gets a great headshot around the corner as well. A lot of damage. Swap's gonna go in, does distract. Will they be able to take advantage? There's Streets. Ra coming in, but Dizzy has gotten two already on site and Streets as well with the Ghost. Oh, here's Ryan coming in with the right click and he gets one, but that's mostly harmless. Again, taking the pistol round and even with a very explosive entrance, mostly harmless, just calmly deal with it. Very impressive from them in this series so far. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm not too surprised to see that Ian cleaning up right at the end, but, you know, uncharacteristically, he's at the bottom of the scoreboard, and yet yeah. they're still winning. Um, yeah. That's not a good sign for casuals, if I uh, say so myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to force their best players to beat you, you know? Yep. Yeah, and, you know, Dizzy <laughs> really stepping up in Ian's place right now. Yep. So fair is fair. Ian does manage to find a kill, speaking of the man. One of the definite you know league mvp candidates it has to be said many of these players in this server definitely could fit the bill swass and Absolutely. ryan among them but they do start off with an advantage here on this uh, second round of the pistol this he actually gets pretty hit pretty hard there but raw was revealed and so on going to find another kill Two of them with the SMG here. Streets pushing up. He's not going to be spotted, but oh no! And one oh, with no. a very unfortunate miss there. And Streets is not going to let that go unpunished. One versus five here. Swass, very low HP, very weak weaponry. Almost no chance to win, it has to be. And uh, yeah. he managed to get the hit. There's on Glyne finishing it off. And flawless round on Glyne. Just so, so good with the SMG in those tight corners. I'd say it's the same for N1. You know, it wasn't like it was an impossible, uh, a possible round for the two of them to win there. But man, it's demoralizing to miss that shot uh, on a player who's not looking at you. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> and and we've all felt the uh, the woes of trying to shoot someone from the back. Like what? Like yeah. what is? Is it a mental? Why, thing? why is it so is, much harder? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely true. Yeah, even in the very very highest level of play, or at this an extremely high level of play in its own right, yeah. you know, with all these players being in the immortal, immortal and radiant sort of area, in terms of rank. Online's right only on the Spectre. He's kept it from the last round. Yeah, there is a one way for him, but now he's going to look for a peek. Swap going aggressive. Good play there, but Dizzy is there to punish. And Online takes out Ryan with the boom bot. And just unfortunate events, one after another for casuals here, as mostly harmless are not only, you know, winning the firefights, but they're just getting the lucky timings as well. Uh, casuals need a good amount of mental fortitude to bounce back from this, and, and they have it. We know that they have it, but going to be all tested as another flawless round from mostly harmless it takes it to 10-5 here on a 10. yeah you know online basically uh telling them like you need to do more to clear me out if you yeah. want to win this fight like I'll, yeah. all i've got is a specter but if you're gonna push into me and my buddies on site then you got to do more to us and it looks like i'm pretty sure that ryan died in wine because i saw his i saw his um hot hands on the floor and i was wondering oh. uh, it's i think he died like trying to line up a molly and the and the boom bot just came right out of the smoke definitely some unfortunate timing happening like exactly. you mentioned yep yeah definitely not all on casuals here but mostly harmless 
Well, they'll take it. These casuals uh, have been a deadly opponent oh for them. God. Look at that arrow revealing every single member of casuals in the B main position. Cubed in a deadly spot here in the corner. He's looking for one. Oh, doesn't click over in time, but oh my god! Suddenly, out of nowhere, every single member of Mostly Harmless just comes online and absolutely destroys Casual's push there. That is, that's a tilter. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, they got the information. Uh, the the attackers had a low buy. That's a, it's a nightmare scenario for them for sure. Even though you know, Cube was full flash. <laughs> um, and as he, as he comes out of it, there's two players on his screen. Doesn't choose the right player to attack first. But it, yeah, like you said, it didn't matter because immediately after everyone else just got shut down. Um, they're not going to want to try that fast B play anytime soon. I'll tell you that much. Definitely not interested in that. B-Boy is going to spot out the turret there. This drone getting a lot of value in this game. And uh, it's been a, sort of a, a trend in our league anyway of, of giving a lot of giving up mid. A lot of just conceding mm -hmm. it on the defending side. You know, a lot of teams use it. Tends to work out okay. As well as any other strategy on Ascent. Swass looking for a fight. Looking for a brawl here. Backs away from the... Uh, it's done there. Yeah, all of casuals spread out across the map, but most of the presence is in mid, and you got a lot of control here. Mostly Harmless has been giving up quite a bit of presence. Yeah, Mostly Harmless isn't even playing on site right now, but he still gets the kill through the smoke. It's just like every single thing they try works out. Ryan actually with a nice flank, though, staying behind and looking for streets. It's a good wall as well, allowing Ryan to get out of this position. Really, really oh good stuff. God. Oh, he just escapes. He's hit in the back a couple of times. Four versus four situation, and casuals have a great post plant positions here. Ryan is trapped. Ra is the one. I love this, this setup. They break through. Oh, no. Ra gets one. Ra speaks out. Oh my god, Ra with the spray down. Dizzy coming in, looking for the clutch here. One versus three. Ra is absolute destruction mode in mid, and B-Boy finishes it off. Man, that is just a thing of beauty, Ra playing off of Ryan there. That was insane. That was incredible. Um, Ra just get, finally getting to show off the, the skills yeah. I was talking about. Like, what a, what a headshot machine. <laughs> He's got to be jumping out of his chair right now. I hope they have the uh, NVIDIA game recording ready for that one. Yeah, everybody, you know, we're going to get the players all to turn on their webcams and film themselves so we can go back to that in future seasons because, man, I would love to see what Ra's reaction to that play and the rest of his team as well. Huge morale booster, you got to imagine. And, yeah, they are going real aggressive here. Ryan coming out with the run it back, getting info. Hunter's Fury on his back. They are exploding into the B, into the, uh, B area. The run it back being taken down. Ooh. They found the info and N1 with a great shot on Ian through the Smoke. There's Ryan and B-Boy coming in. Ryan goes down. Okay, Dizzy finds one. It's two versus two in a flash. And there's the Omen ultimate. B-Boy spots them out. Now they just have to take advantage because look at that. The spike has been left in Speedway. Really, yeah. really unfortunate spot for it to be. Dizzy getting a lot of value out of the frag that he just got there. But Ra has the angle. Ra with the flank. They have no idea he is here. They know that it's a possibility. They heard that Omen ult go down. Ra. Oh, the timing. to do the timing. They turn around. Ooh. Ra with two more. Ra is on a rampage right now. He is answering back. And, and oh my God. the timing for him to find them with their heads turned away was gone. But it didn't matter. But they both, uh, they both looking, they're both looking right at where Ra's approaching, yeah. and he still gets both headshots. Like, oh. um, the guy, he, he really did have such monsters. a great flank, though. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, amazing work. The casual is just kicking it into an extra gear right now, and they, you know, they realize it's very important for them to get this map and not get put on match point here in the series for the best of five. Wow, what a, what a play. There's still a lot of room. There's still a lot of ways to go. 11 rounds are on the board for Mostly Harmless, and, and all they need is two more, and the map is over, but... Yeah, heroics from Ra there. 
casuals. You can see they are amped. They are jittery. They want to get in there. They are feeling, good, feeling themselves right now. Raw finds a kill there. Opening up yeah, on Izzy, actually. Shot. Yeah. Ooh. There's two taking out Ryan. And oh. oh. P-Boy finding one through the wall. Now Ongline and Streets have answered back. So it's now a two versus two as Swass finds another one. Very, very low HP, but they got onto the site. Swass has a very, very difficult situation here. Plays an unusual angle here on the edge of the box. Ian coming around the back. Not going to be rewarded. Will he, though? B-Boy is peeking that. Finds the angle. Doesn't get any damage done. So Shock Dart comes in. Line who goes around the corner and B-Boy wins it. Oh my god, Ian I finds mean. you in the sights. Ian, man, we are just getting highlight after highlight, but that means that mostly harmless get put on map point for a sin. Oh my god, Ian. Like, I've never seen someone playing on the box, but then to go from getting that kill to a spray transfer through the box onto the second player is yep. just out of this world. Uh, everyone is coming on uh, and really putting on a show for for the final match of the whole season. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it is befitting of a grand finals, the plays that are being made right now. And Ra really stepping it up. And it was you know, perfect. You prophesied. You gave him the caster's yeah. blessing by talking about his uh, excellent aim, which we've seen all season long. He flashed out, oh. turns away. Good reactions, but not good enough. Ryan is around the corner and has already removed him from the round. So Ian now. More Swass going in. Swass. This is the first couple, but he does get the kill in the end. Headshot onto Ongline. Ian spotting out this angle. And actually the smoke. Ian going up. And there's Ryan with another headshot. Clean play. Casuals are really getting warmed up now. Izzy goes around and Ra gets the better of him. Uh-oh, Jake. I don't know, man. I don't know. Casuals are looking pretty damn good right now. True, true. I wonder if we're going to see a pause come out for either team. Because honestly, like, the only thing about that round was I felt like Mostly Harmless was playing a little bit undisciplined. You know, they were giving up a lot of uh, 1v1s with no utility that they do not normally. Um, even though, even the opening frag, like, it seemed like it was part of their idea to push cubed up into B main. Um, but they weren't ready for Ryan's aggression. Definitely were not. Ryan on this on the Phoenix. We've seen him pull it out in dire straits when his team needs him the most to become the star player. He knows he can be and he's proving it right now, but look at this. Spotted. There's Swaps getting wow. one, and there we go. Ryan and Rod take out the others. It's only pistols uh, right now for Mostly Harmless, so this round's a bit of a wash at this point since that opening play didn't work. Ra almost teleported to his death there, but decided against it. Now he's going to push up instead. Trigger right here, Jake. Oh, oh no, my god. Not to, and actually, he gets caught on a reload, but still a flawless round. And, uh, you know, playing against anti eco after you've got some jittery nerves from some big, wicked rounds is just as good a skill as anything in Valorant. So, impressive oh, stuff. Yeah. They are one step closer to tying this up. Playing against pistols can somehow be more terrifying than a fully kitted out team sometimes. Uh, like the the confidence that players have with a uh, with a ghost in their hand is just unmatched. Sometimes it's absurd. Exactly, exactly true. So that's what you got to watch out for in those pistol rounds. But casuals do take care of it. Nine to twelve, showing that they can challenge the veterans. They are well and truly prepared for this match. But has it gone too far already? That's the question. Have Mostly Harmless already done enough now that casuals have well and truly become activated here in this grand final? I think this is the round that Mostly Harmless takes it. Honestly, they're off the back of the undisciplined round, then a save. Now we got it. They're going to play real, real smart. They're all bundled up on A tight together. Yeah. And casuals are walking right into the trap. They move towards A like it looks like they are already. Ra is removed. Dizzy with a nice opener there. Goes to run it back. 
main. Ooh. Nice shot by Ryan. They go in on Glyne. Already finds one. Ryan looking for the angles. Doesn't find anybody, but the damage may be done here. Three versus three. Now this heavily favors the attackers, but oh, what a great shot by on Glyne. Ryan with a bit of an ego peek there. Two versus three situation. Sloss low on HP. Goes around. Cube takes out B-Boy. And they just don't quite stick the landing here as the ultimate even goes down. There's the showstopper as well. They're using everything. And like you said, this may be the round. Comes around the corner and Cubed is the one to finish it off. It got a lot closer and Casuals put up a hell of a fight in the end. But still, mostly harmless. 2-0, they go on to match point in the grand finals. Oh yeah, they're looking dangerous. They're looking very dangerous. Dizzy just kind of putting the team on his back right there. If it wasn't for Dizzy, they really would have struggled. Yeah. Well, we are going to take one more quick break, get everybody a little rest. I know that everybody's going to be very, very in need of a break and a, maybe a glass of water right now. So we will be back in just a couple minutes once again with the Red Bull Analyst Desk.